Hi guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to build the Halo Pelican. Uh, this one is completely to scale as possible. Um, so it is actually pretty big. Um, so it's quite cool as well. There's, there's kind of, you can kind of do a couple of colour schemes. I've seen this one obviously in the green. But since we don't have you know the green coloured slabs, I've had to use stone slabs in this. Uh, so the one I'm actually going to be building is out of light grey wool. But if you want the green one, just switch out wherever I say light grey wool or put down light grey wool. Switch out for the green, um, but I'm still going to be using stone slabs on this. As these are kind of the, the kind of closest together colour-wise um, for each of them. Um, so I'll just show you the interior first. It's quite, it's got quite a lot of room um, on the inside, as you can see. So I've put in, you know, all the seating parts. I've also put in a couple of chests just on these kind of shelves. The cockpit as well is pretty big, and you can see pretty much everything from it. So it's a pretty cool build. Uh, so I'll just go through the material list. Um, so what you're going to need for this build, if you're making it out of green wool, you'll need your green wool. So choose whatever colour. I'm going to be using light grey wool, uh, just to just to see what it looks like in that kind of colour scheme. Uh, you need stone slabs, glass, a uh, fence gate for this gun part because I did see that on some of them they do have guns. So this is actually where you put them, and that's the best I can kind of come up with. Uh, you need trap doors, grey wool, and also glowstone for the engines. But you could also use a block of redstone as well, it really depends on your texture pack. Um, I just like the glowstone because it gives you a bit of lighting, especially when it's kind of, you know, a bit darker. Um, it does look pretty cool. So let's get started on this build. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is find yourself a nice spot, and we're just going to place down 10 pieces of wall going back. So I'm going to use my light grey, and if you guys want it out of green, let me get out of green. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's going to come in one on each side, it's going to be eight, so you're just going to be one on each side like this. Same on the other side as well. And then, if this is the front here, you're going to be two blocks back, and you're going to have five, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, so it'll be one from the back, but two from the front, and then you've got five again, just like that. And all we need to do now is just place a couple slabs down, so these are pretty much in every single corner, so you'll have five of them. Oops, not there. <laughs> Five of them on the front, like that, so you've got one, two, three, four, and five. And you're also going to have five on the back, one, two, three, four, and five, just like that. Okay, so for the next layer, what you're going to do is place one right on this front kind of slab you've got here. They come across, and you'll have a total of three, and you're just going to add in one block on each of these sides here. And if you go out diagonally here, here, so you've got this diagonal right here, you're going to go back by 12 in total, so you've got one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. It's going to have three across the back like this. So if you do the other 12 as well. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And also if we come to the front, if you do want to put your gun in, this is where I put in my fence gate like this. And I just punched it in so you've got two kind of two guns uh, kind of on one block. Or what you can do as well is have the actual fence gate going this way. But I kind of prefer it like this, I think it makes it look a little bit better. And all you need to do now is just fill in this section here. So it's filling this floor part. And then if we just count from the back on this part, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, like this. Gonna have a two block gap, so you've got two blocks here. It's gonna place whatever color you've got, and coming towards the front, you're just gonna have a slab on this bit. These are these kind of side parts here, so you can just line it up with this one here. It's got a two block gap, and you're gonna have a four block, and then a Slab. Oh, don't know why I delete that one. So you should just have those. These are going to be these uh, kind of side parts here. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're just going to have a block on either side of this, and then this is where your first piece of glass is going to be here. Now you're going to just have a three. So you got one, two, three, and now what you're going to have is a ten. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And they just have one just coming on the back. So here again, you got a three. So you got one, two, three. The one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's one just on the back part there. And then for these side bits here, what you're gonna do is just gonna put two blocks on top here. It's gonna be a slab on the front. Then you're gonna have two pieces of glowstone, and then you're gonna have a block right on the back, just like this. Then you're gonna have three blocks here and three blocks here, just joining it in to the actual main body. So it's got three blocks on the sides. So you got if you count from the front, you've got these kind of like two here. A three than a one. So I'll just do the same on the other side as well. So you've just got two blocks on top of this part here, and behind this you've got two pieces of glowstone. They've got a light, uh, light grey piece of wall or green wall. Then you've got your three, 
There'll be a free which will also connect it into there. And just on the front part, you've got a slab on here. So this is actually going to be... This is kind of what I've used for the actual engine um, parts themselves. So you could switch the glowstone out for something like, you know, block of redstone. So these are the actual bits that will, you know, give it lift. So we'll get on to the next section. And now what we're going to do is going to have three pieces of glass. These are just going to come in one block. And what I did on mine is I put in a block here and here just so I can put some you know, buttons and levers and things. Um, but I left out this block here because you've got this piece of glass there. So then you're just going to have two on top of that one. Now you're going to go 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's straight on top. And on this back one here, you're just going to have two. So it's going to go out by one more. Just like this. So you've got your 10, 2 here. Just like that. And now we'll build up these side bits. And now just for the side bits, what you're going to do is you're going to leave two of these off this run of 10 that you've got. You're going to leave two of them. Go to the third one. You're going to have five. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it should be over by one on this part here. And also over by one on the, this part here, and then you have a six. This six will be on top of this slab here, so it'll be forward slightly. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then you've got a five again, which will be in line with the other one here. So it's just mirroring what you've got on this side. And now if you come around to the back, you've got two stone slabs here. You're going to leave this block here, and you're just going to have three here. So it's above this section here that you've got these three slabs like that. I'll do the same on the other side as well. So you're going to leave a two block gap here, and you have five, one, two, three, four, five. The sixth one will be on top of this part, so you've got six here. And then the fifth one again, this one's just going to mirror this, go to the back. Two slabs here, leave a block here, and then you've got three slabs like that, which is in line with this part here. Okay, so come to the front again, and you're going to go in with your glass again, just kind of three here, and three here. So you've got this two by three kind of box here, which is kind of roof of the cockpit, so when you're actually inside it, you've got this kind of really big, big... Uh, kind of roof section, and if you come in here, it's going to go in by one block here, and you're still going to have your 10 going back, so you've just got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And you just going to have your 2 again on top of these ones, and across the back you're going to have 3 going across this part here, and it's got 3 slabs on it as well, so you've just got that. So here, we're just going to go in, in by one block here, and you've still got your 10. So it kind of creates this little L shape, just like that. Okay, now for the side parts, you're going to leave two block gap again, so it's just going to be six this time. So you get one, two, three, four, five, and six. So it's just going over by one on this side. Now you've got an eight, which is uh, just on top of this one here. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now you've got a seven. This one will be in line with this back piece here. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So it goes pretty much straight on top, but just comes out back from this part like this. Now you've got four, one, two, three, and four, which goes just one forwards of this part here that is directly on top of these slabs and you got three slabs just on this part here and we'll do the same on the other side as well so just on top of this one here you got six one two three four five six then this one will be on top of this block here and you got an eight one two three four five six seven and eight so it goes over by one and this one is joined on the back here so you got seven one two three four five six seven so it's directly on top and then you've got a four, which is just connect on to this part here. So you've got one, two, three, four. And you've got your three slabs, just like you did before, just on, you know, kind of continuing this part up, just like that. Okay, so for the next layer, what you're going to do is just going to come in. Again, on this part, you're going to do a two by three box. So you've just got three coming across here, and it just goes back by two, like this. And you're just going to have a two by two box kind of joined onto it. This part, this part does get a bit more complicated. You've just got a two by two box, just like that. And then counting these two here, you're going to go back by eight. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So it should be one short here. Now you're going to have a four, so it'll be just on the inside here. So you've got one, two, three, and four. So it's just on the inside and also goes out by one. And then directly on top of this slab here, you've got an eight. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's make this all the way across as well. So it's just like a kind of filled in section like that and we'll do the same on the other side so counting these ones you've got an eight so you've got one two three four five six seven eight and you've got four and this one is on the inside part here so you've got one two three and four just like that and there's just two slabs here just on these parts here and if we go right to the back part here this kind of edge part here we're just gonna put three slabs on just like that so you get this kind of really long long bit going back uh, but now we're starting to kind of kind of create the actual main uh, middle part of the actual 
Pelican itself. So let's go on to the next kind of side bit here. Okay, so now for this wing section, what you're going to do is from this front part, you're going to leave three blocks. So one, two, three, go to the fourth, and you just have three of them here. So you should have two blocks showing on this part, and then one on the back. Now what you're going to do is you're going to have a five, which is going to be one extra on each side. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. Got number five. And I've got three sets of four, and these are going to be directly in line with this. So you've just got one, two, three, four, and number two, one, two, three, four. 1, 2, 3, 4, so it should start going out like this. And now you've got 3, so you're just going to leave one block. You're not going to put it on this block here, you're just going to have 3 here. And it's just going to be 2 right on the end, like that. So if we do the same on the other side, so you're going to leave 3 block gap, 1, 2, 3, then you have 3 blocks. Not like that, <laughs> 3 blocks on that. Then 1 extra on each side, you've got 5. you got another 5 like this. Now you've got 4, which is directly in line with this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, another 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and another 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So three sets of four there, then three here, and then just two, just like that. And now I've got to put in a load of slabs. Okay, so there's just three of them on the front here. So you've got one, two, three like that. And the same on the other side, just one, two, three, just there. And we're just going to put in the engines on this part. So if we go to the back, where you've got these kind of two here, you're just going to put two pieces of glowstone with trap doors on them. Oh, that's that's what I kind of ended up doing. So you've just got glowstone with your trap doors on just like that, and we'll get onto the next layer. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come to this front part here where we've got this two by three, we're gonna place down three slabs here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have three blocks coming across here, but this is gonna go back by 21 counts in that block. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. So it's just one past uh, that slab we placed down earlier. So just fill this part in. And then once you've done that, you're gonna just leave a one block gap here, put down two pieces of gray wall, with trap doors closed on them. These are going to be like the air intake valves, so just got these here. And behind this, you're going to have seven blocks. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then just fill in behind this as well. Just that part solid as well. So behind here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fill this part in, just like that. And then what you're going to do behind this part, you're just going to have three blocks here. One, two, three. Now you're going to go out just to here, and you're going to have six. So you've got one, two, two three, four, five, and six, and they're going to go out again. I'm just going to have this two, like this. And then just connect this part in, right into the actual main part here. Connect this up like this. So same on the other side, you've got a three, one, two, three, like this. And then you're going to come out and have a six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to go out again and have a two. And just connect this into the body and fill this part in solid like this. Um, and I put in another kind of, uh, one of the ones that actually lifts it up just here, so you can just cut them in on this two part here, and it also gives you some nice lighting for underneath it, just like this, and then all you need to do is put in a 3x3 three three square of slabs right on this back part here, just like that. Okay, and then on this side what you need to do is, uh, just for this kind of wing part, is leave a block gap, then you have four slabs, then you have two slabs here, and then behind this you're going to have one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four, five, and six. You're just gonna have two here and two here like that. So you're gonna have a two by two square, just like that. And then you're gonna have two slabs here, and a slab here, and a slab here. So this bit is a little bit more, kind of a bit more complicated and it's quite quite nuts really. But um, I'll go go on it on the other side as well. So you're gonna leave a block gap, then have four, one, two, three, and four, and two here. You have four here, one, two, three, four. Then six here, one, two, three, four, five, and six. You have a two by two square like this. Two slabs here, a slab here, and a slab here. Just like that, and we're starting to get there, guys. Okay, so what you're gonna need to do is leave a three block gap, one, two, three. And then you're gonna have three slabs here, and two on each side, just like that. And then you're gonna have, you know, gray wall, or light gray wall, or oh, your green wall here. And then counting this block here, you're going to go back by four. So you got one, two, three, and four. And you got two on this part here. And you're going to go out by one like this. Now you're going to have a five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now you're going to go in just for one block, just on this part here. Now you're going to go out again for four. One, two, three, and four. Just like that. So we'll do the same on the other side. It is a little bit more involved, as you can see. But you got from here, one, two, three, four, in for two. You're just going to come out with a one, then you got a five, one, two, three, four, five, in for one, then I got a four, like that. And then what you need to do is just join these two together, just going straight across the back here, 
and fill this entire kind of top section in solid and I'll tell you what to do next. And then just for the back engines what you're going to do is just put a piece of glowstone or your redstone block here and you're just going to have a piece of whatever you know your colour is. And just again we're going to just put our trap doors just on the back part like that. And now for the next layer what we're going to do is just come back and leave one block here, you're going to have one and diagonal by one, now you're going to have four, one, two, three, four. So you got one, one, two, three, three, four, just like that. And then behind this part, just fill this bit in solid, just uh, kind of in between this kind of raised bit like this. And then here, what you're going to do is you're going to have a one here, and you have a two, and you have a four, one, two, three, and four. And I did forget from the last layer that there is actually four slabs directly underneath this bit here. <clears throat> so same on the other side, you've got one and two coming across this way, and they're going to go out and have a four, one, two, three, four, and put your slabs underneath, which I forgot on the last layer. And then what you need to do is just come straight across the back with this part here, so just join this all the way across, and fill it in solid. And then find your middle, and all you're going to do is add four blocks, one, two, three, four, and it's going to be three wide in total, just like that. And then what you're going to do is, right on the end, you're not going to go over these engines, you're just going to have this four here, and a four here, so it's just on the outside part. So you've got this kind of like channel going across here. So you've got four here and a four here. And then if you grab your slabs, what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of go in all of these kind of places here and just fill up. And just on top of the uh, kind of last layer, it's just showing like that, like that. And then we've got three slabs here one, two, three, and on the other side as well one, two, and three. And then just to finish this one off, if we just leave where well, you've got this kind of extension coming out to the walls at the back, just leave a block gap, you're gonna have a three by three square, with just one slab on it, and that finishes it up. So well done on completing the Halo Pelican. It is actually quite a complex and long build. I didn't realize actually how kind of complex it was, but I'll just give you another like kind of look at the inside of what I've done on mine. I thought oh, it is pretty kind of basic really. Uh, you know, just got chests, some seats, and the cockpit, but I'm sure you guys can come up with something really, really cool for this one. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.